Good afternoon. Welcome to Monthly's World of Weather. We clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for April 3rd to the 17th. For April 3rd to the 7th. Uh, this is what we're having here. Uh, we have a ridge here over the Northeast Pacific, Eastern Pacific, ridge here down across across the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean, also here near Greenland, trough in the west, above normal heights in the east. Between these two systems, we have a progressive uh, zonal flow. And um, before I get to the regular forecast, I want to talk about what's going on in the east tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have this um, strong storm system here lifting through uh, the northeast. And we'll have um, some strong wind, snow there, and then here, severe weather. Now, we'll take a look at the uh, NATO cast forecast. And this is for um, April 1st. See, we have like maybe a 1% chance of severe storms. But then as we get later into, into uh, September 1st, uh, September, April 1st, we have a greater chance here of tornadoes here across southeast and mid-Atlantic. It's a, it's a low chance, about 2 to 3% chance, but there's a chance of severe weather as we go east. And um, here we'll look at the system here. Here's our system moving through the east. And then we'll look at uh, different parameters here. Now, um, we're going to look here. This is a um, convective inhibitor. Inhibit, yeah, I can't say it. Inhibit, inhibition and you can see across southeast across the mid-atlantic this is gfs this is the european it's weaker with the severe weather threat um here is the um, nam and then we'll take it the nam um tornado um or this is the tornado significant tornado threat see also the nam has a chance of tornadoes here across southeast and the mid-Atlantic. And then we look at this forecast. This is the probability of supercells. And also has a chance of supercells here across southeast and the mid-Atlantic. So tomorrow you have to watch out. Okay, now we're going to get to the regular part of the forecast. Um, this is for, like I said, for the 3rd and the 7th. We'll have our main system lifting out. Then we have this other system. We have this other system in, in the plains or in the Rockies developing. And this was uh, spread across the central plains on Tuesday and then eventually the Great Lakes. And you can see how uh, tightly wound these um, isobars are. There's a threat of tornado conditions here, rain to the south. And then a trough will come in behind the system here. And this will maintain unsettled conditions across the western states. Um, the system will produce a broad area of wintry precipitation, I just showed you. And then in the warm sector, there'll be thunderstorms uh, and rain across the eastern states as it moves east. Here it is here. And he looked up through the Great Lakes. So then here will be the rain and thunderstorms. Some could be severe. Okay, we're going to look now at the pattern for April 8th to the 12th. And we still have a ridge here um, over the Pacific. Um, below normal heights here across Greenland or mixed anomalies across the high latitudes. Trough here, ridge across the Gulf of Mexico. So this is what we're expecting. So uh, for this forecast period, then, I am calling for uh, below normal temperatures. For this area here, I'm calling for anomalies of 48 degrees below normal, above normal temperatures here with anomalies near 8 degrees above normal for precipitation. Calling for below normal precipitation, below normal precipitation for much of this area here. Probability of occurrence near 35%. Above normal precipitation forecast here. Probability of occurrence is 35 to 40%. Now we're going to look at the period for April 13th to the 17th. And most of the models here, the GFS, 
it's the Sambles, the European, all have a ridge here in the west, trough in the east. To a lesser extent, is the GFF, uh, is the European. But we also have above normal heights here from Greenland, from um, Alaska to Greenland. However, uh, you look at the um, the uh, Canadian ensembles and the NAEFS, uh, has more of a zone of flow with near to above normal heights. So I'm going with the consensus. So for this forecast period, I am calling for below normal temperatures here, and I'm calling for anomalies of near 8 degrees below normal. I'm going with what it's been the, for so far uh, all winter and into um, the spring. So far is below normal temperatures here. Above normal uh, temperatures are forecast for this region with the numbers of 4, 6 degrees above normal. And for precipitation, call for below normal precipitation for much of this region here. Probability of occurrence is um, is near 35%. And then we have above normal precipitation here. And the probability of occurrence is near 40%. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for April 3rd to the 17th. Thanks for coming to Jim Unley's World of Weather and have a good day.